What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about Infinite Warfare bots on multiplayer. Now I'm not talking about custom games, I'm talking about actual multiplayer where you're playing in a public match versus other people. Will there be bots in the game? I have no actual idea, but it is rumored that there will be bots in some sort of way. Now, you're not going to start the game with bots or the, well, you may actually, I'll get into that in a moment, but bots won't be like something that you could put off or put on or whatever. They're just going to be in the game, but they're just going to be technically placeholders until someone else joins. But before we get into this, guys, if we could smack 1,500 likes, that would be amazing. Leave your comments down below telling me if you want to see bots or not in Infinite Warfare. Now. I technically, well, not technically, I actually, realistically speaking, I do want to see bots in a certain way in Infinite Warfare. Now, let me get into that before you guys get all, like, hasty and jumpy and start, like, giving me crap. I, I, I will get into that in a moment. Now, on the other hand, my buddy Maze Wolf, he's totally against it. He doesn't want to see bots on multiplayer within Infinite Warfare, but he has his own reasons, which we're not going to get into now. We're going to get into the reasons why I would like to see them and how they would actually be in the game. So... What people are saying, the speculation, the rumors right now are that if you're playing a game 6v6 team deathmatch, for example, let's keep everything simple, you're playing 6v6 team deathmatch, your team is winning, let's say, like 50 to 20, just an example, guys, and somebody on the other team, the enemy team, the guys who are losing, the guys with 20 points, ends up rage quitting because he sees that his team's not going to win, he keeps dying and stuff like that, well, instead of the game being a 6v5, a bot comes in right away the second somebody leaves. Kind of like Rocket League. Do you guys play Rocket League? For those of you who do play it, you know that when someone rage quits, a bot comes and takes his place right away up until another player joins the match. So let's say that bot comes into the game in Infinite Warfare. He starts shooting people, whatever. We're not going to get into that just now. We're going to get into that afterwards. But let's say the bot comes in. He lasts 20 seconds because after that, somebody else joins the game. Once somebody joins the game and spawns in, the bot is gone. I am totally okay with this. I don't see anything wrong with it, to be honest with you guys. I think it's actually a good thing. It'll keep the game lively and it'll just help. Like, yeah, it'll just help. The entire enemy team won't end up rage quitting because if one person rage quits, the other person rage quits and it's kind of like an effect where it's like, it, it just keeps on going and it's a dominoes effect really, where one person rage quits, the other person rage quits, and then there's four against six and they look at the scoreboard, they're like, this is useless and then they all leave. Rather than that, throw a bot in there and then that's one of the good things. Now, another thing that Maze Wolf, my buddy, was bringing up was the fact that you cannot make bots not have aimbot. Like, they're going to have aimbot, it's going to be unfair, and it's just going to suck. I completely disagree with this one as well. I have to say that the bots are actually going to be pretty good. Now, what they could do, sure, maybe it'll be hard not to give them aimbot because they do have to have something in the coding for them to be able to shoot at you, and they may not miss, but instead of them being like recruit bots or like the bots in Titanfall, which are completely useless, those things don't even shoot at you, those are useless bots, I, I feel like they should just put these ones on like regular mode, as if you were playing custom games against regular mode bots. They're not too hard, they're not too easy, and they're actually just good they're just placeholders now there are bad things that come with this if there's too many bots in the game let's say it's one person on the enemy team and then five bots that's a bad thing because the other team is just going to get streaks they're going to be able to kill the bots it's going to be easy so that is one thing that sucks another thing is i just i don't know i, I really i do want to see them in the game i really would love to see them in the game and here is the biggest reason why if you guys if you guys watch me you know that i have the worst luck alive when it comes to getting nuclears in black ops 3 i literally have zero i have zero nuclears zero nuked outs and i just have the worst luck i'll always die at like 24 kills 25 kills 29 kills it, it just sucks but this one game that really sticks out to me the most and i wish there was bots man coming to come to think of it i really wish there was bots the one game that sticks out to me the most was I was playing, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was on Combine, if I remember correctly. This was like when the game first came out, like maybe two months later. I was playing, I got 28 kills with a gun, without dying, 28 kills. The entire, well not the entire enemy team, but five out of six players ended up leaving all at the same time. They were probably all in the same party and decided let's just back out, whatever. So it's one person against six. And then this is what sucked. There was two minutes left on the match, two minutes or like a minute and a half, somewhere around there. I could not find that one person. I just had to kill him twice, but my whole entire team was killing him before I could even get to him. I got one kill. I got up to 29, I'm pretty sure. And then the game just 
ended. Like if there was bots, I would have had my nuclear. Or here is another thing that I could talk about because some people may say, well, then bots will be too easy to get your streaks, to get this, to get that. Maybe instead of getting 100 points per kill, like you would on an actual human, maybe on a bot, you could get 25 or 50 points. So yes, you can still build up to your score streaks. Yes, you can still build up to a nuclear or whatever, but it'll just take a lot more kills. It'll be as if you're playing kill confirmed without collecting the tags. I think that is okay as well or playing safeguard and not playing the objective just shooting and whatever I think that is okay as well as long as the bots are there up until somebody else joins I see nothing wrong with that leave your comments down below if you agree or disagree Let's go for a thousand five hundred likes on this video guys Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. We're almost at a quarter million subscribers. That's like literally insane So thank you guys so much for that. My name is Nick and I'll catch you in the next one Make, 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 make the ground shake.